Hi guys, I have another Paracool project for us to try. This one is another little keychain and it's a three color keychain done by crowning three strands. To make this I am using three pieces of paracord and each of these pieces are 40 centimeters long or around about 16 inches and of course we are also going to need a split ring. To start this one off I'm going to take my split ring and my single piece of paracord and I'm just going to feed that ring onto the paracord and then take my fused section and place it over both. I'm just going to pinch it off here and I'm going to take this lower strand over the right and then I'm going to take this right strand around this tag section right around and over that left strand and then the left strand I just want to tuck down through the original loop here then if I carefully draw this knot together we should end up with a triangle here at the top and the tag section should be in the center of that triangle and if I tighten it right up what we want to achieve here if I flip it over is this split ring should be held fast and we want to do our best to hide this fused section underneath one of these strands here so if you need to, just feed a little bit of slack through to hide that fused part. And now that that fiddly part is over, it should be pretty easy and straightforward from here on. So we're just going to tie crown knots all the way up. I'm going to take this right strand over. I'll take the blue strand over the yellow and the yellow down through that red loop. Now we can tighten this whole thing up and again make sure that the tag end here ends up in the center of the triangle and we just are going to repeat that process until we get the keychain to the desired length. So we'll take one strand over, the next strand over, and then the last strand through the original loop. And tighten it up by pulling all three strands. with the tag end going through the center. So I'll show one more. Going anti-clockwise, we'll take one strand over, the next strand over, and the last strand will tuck through the original loop. And then we can tighten the whole thing up. And we just need to continue that process until we get the key chain to the desired length. So once you get this to the desired length, you can finish this off just by tightening this crown right up and then cutting off these excess pieces here and then singeing them off with a lighter and pressing them flat or you can make the strands exit to the top of the knot and to do that we just need to tie one more crown just take each piece over its adjacent strand and then the last one through the first loop and we don't want to tighten this all the way up we just want to leave that center open so it makes this little triangle here at the top 
And then to finish it off, we just want to take each of these strands around the adjacent strand and then up through the center of the knot. So this blue piece will go around the red, underneath the yellow, and up through the center. Then the yellow piece will go around its adjacent strand here, which is the blue underneath the red and up through the center and then the red will go around its adjacent strand here which is the yellow underneath the blue and up through the center of the knot. Then we just need to grab each of those three pieces and draw the knot together. Then we can take slack out of each of these legs so that the knot sits right up against the edge here and draw the slack all the way through the knot. So the last thing required is just to get rid of these excess pieces and we'll just cut them off with a pair of scissors. We can singe the ends here with a lighter. And then we just need to press this flat and that should be your finished keychain. Please share this video because that allows me to keep creating content for you guys. Thanks for watching.